So potentiometer is a long resistor. Do you remember what uh, they look like? They're usually in a dial format. And And they have a slider on them. And let's go this. Just a dimmer. Yeah, I like a dimmer, yeah. And I'm going to draw this out this way. And I'm going to draw. So this is like a, we do a fixed voltage divider, and then we do a Yeah, so there's a dimmer or a voltage or a potentiometer. So let's say this is um, 100 volts. And let's say this whole resistor here is um, the pot is 1k ohms. There's 1,000 ohms from there to there. Up the bottom, pot is 1k. So it's at 70, 75 volt? Yeah, so that, so I was just going to do that. So let's say this is going to be um, usually B, usually A, and this is. C, those would be the three terminals on there. A, B, and C, so B is a slider. So if B, so just like a glass of water, a glass of beer, if this is turned up all the way this way, then this would be at 100%, and this would be at 0%. And so 25, 50, 75%. So we, when we turn it up, we're going up this way, we're turning it down, we're going that way. And just like a glass of water, a glass of beer, you're going up, you're happier. So when, uh, so this is proportionality what we just did. So with a voltmeter on here with an infinite resistance, uh, Might have to redo first year. Working at home, man. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, yeah, so 75%, that would be 75% of here. So 75%, how much is this resistance up here? It's kind of like this one here. You know, if we're here, this is a 1K, and we've got so much here, it's 1K. Minus this has got to be this. So if this is 75%, it's going to be 1K times 0.75 equals 750 ohms. But what is this value up here? This value up here is going to be 1K minus 750 equals 20, 250 ohms. So if this is at 75%, we got 250 ohms up here, we got 750 ohms here. And at 50%, it's down here, we got 500 ohms up here and 500 ohms down here. And down here, we've got 750 ohms up here and 25 ohms down here. So we have to do that parallel calculation on each one of these. So with, with no current, we're just gonna pick up the voltage as we go along here. So no voltage, this would be 75 volts. So we've got 
we could go um, for proportionality. Proportionality, we could go 750 over a thousand times 100 volts. Give me 750 or seven, <clears throat> 75 volts. Once we load this up, then this comes into a factor here. So let's say that instead of, instead of V1, we're actually going to put a load on here. Let's say this load is Call this one one k ohm also. So at at a hundred percent, this connection is up here. It's going to be um, it's it's just, it's just going to be we're going to get hundred volts across here. So but but at seventy five percent, where it gets interesting, we got. A 25, 250 ohm resistor up here, and we have a 750 ohm resistor in parallel with a 1000 ohm resistor. So these two, the load and this part of the potentiometer are in parallel with each other, just like we had up here. You know, we had something in front and we had these two things in parallel. So we have to find out what this equivalent resistance is, and then we could do proportionality. So uh, 250 ohm. Plus, what is a 750 and a 1000 in parallel? I know it's going to be less than 750. Anybody got a number for me? 428. Well, you guys okay, stepped on each other there. Say that again. Uh, 428.6. Anybody confirm that? I still got to learn how to use my calculator. That's right. And so we use proportionality 428.6 420, plus 250 is 678 because these these two are in series with each other because that's this guy right here So I got that as 63.2 volts for proportionality. Anybody else get that? So no load, it's 750. But when you load it up with that load there, then it's going to be down to 63 volts. 
So let's go with a 50%. So maybe I'll just, it's easier with a whiteboard, but. Uh, so at 50%, what is the resistor up here going to be? What is in series with it all? Uh, 500. Yes. So we've got a 500 ohm resistor, and then we've got this portion down here will be 500 and it's in parallel with a 1k so for that five is that just 500 divided by a thousand with those double lines a uh, double line means parallel one oh, okay. that can be divided the other yeah that's how we show uh, parallel circuits Change it up here a bit. So how did that uh, that one go? Could it 40 volts on that? No load would have been 50, but when we load it up with that 1K resistor, it's going to be 40 volts. You want to do 25% too? 